For centuries, people have been mystified by Rembrandt's dramatic light. Let's see if we can decode that. Now, the way we decode any artist method of working is simply to study it and to study it from a technical point of view, uh, not from a point of view of just wondering how did they do that. So, value is the key to Rembrandt's work and to the way he got the dramatic light he got, not just value, but value contrast. So, let's look at, at, at what kind of value contrast Rembrandt used. Now, we've all heard of Whistler's mother. Did you know that Rembrandt had a lot of Rembrandt's mother's painting too. Uh, this particular one um, is known as Rembrandt's mother, but it's also known as the uh, Anna the Prophetess, or uh, people give it different kinds of names. That's not important. What's important is how he used it to create the, the light in the painting. So, what's happening here? Well, what's happening is, first of all, there's a very, very dark background, and that's typical for Rembrandt's paintings. And so let's look at the degree. What is the degree of value of that dark background? So not necessarily trying to get the color, but let's get the value. The best way we can tell that is to go to the darkest value we have. In, in this case, I've just chosen ivory black. I put a little lizard and crimson in it. I want to say something here. This is a reproduction, a photo of a painting, a photo I got from the web. So what we see here might be a little different from the actual painting itself. We study what we have so that we can get um, an idea of how the things work. If we were in the museum where this painting is hanging, we might come up with a different results. But I want the results based on what we're seeing here. Okay, so we start with the background and we say, okay, that's very, very dark. And so we would put a little of the very darkest dark. And you see that? It really is just about as dark as we can make a color go. So for a study, we wouldn't try to, uh, to study to determine the light. We don't try to do the image. We're just looking at the degree of value. So I would sort of uh, place in here a, an area of value that would represent right around the image itself, not the whole thing. Uh, but just an area of value that would be represented for around the image itself. And um, so let's just kind of place that and I'll just place it a little bit. Now I'm not, I'm going to kind of do that in a, in a blocked, in a blocked manner, not to try to reprodu reproduce the images. So just sort of blocking that in. Maybe, maybe that's enough. Maybe we need to surround that with dark, though. Surround that area with, with dark. Just like that. That's good enough. It's, we're just going to study the value. Now, I said that then I said that before. So, so what's happening here? Um, let's look at this value first, the, this value area right here, because that's where the dramatic light comes in. Then we can look at how the other areas would relate to that. So, with that value um, right here, you say that's white. Well, I don't know that it's white. If I hold my, it's not. If I hold my, my canvas here, which is white, and I hold it right next to that, I see that it's a little bit darker than white. So it's not just white against black that gives the dramatic color, but it's the degree of color, the degree of value in the color. So we need to get a white, a light, that's just a little bit darker. So I'm going to add just a little bit of, of yellow-orange into that, and that does appear to be yellow-orange to me. I'll put just a little touch of black in that um, to bring that uh, intensity up. Now let's try that. In, in uh, one of our previous quick tips, I showed you how to just use this little, uh, I call it a, a test strip, just a strip of canvas here to find the value. That looks pretty close. That's, that's a little bit Yes, when I squint my eyes, that looks pretty close to the value we're seeing. So what we can do there then is to just put a, stro a stroke of color right next to that, and we'll see, do we have the same value relationship there that Rembrandt has? And yes, we do. Now, to make that a complete study, though, like that, um, 
we need to continue that value relationship because this doesn't tell us anything. So as this moves in this direction, it gets a little bit darker. So then you describe that to yourself. You describe what is that value doing. And I'm looking simply as value. It's a little bit darker right there. So I will just increase the value, just to, uh, decrease the, the, dark, the, uh, the contrast just a little bit. And then this then is the relationship. Well, I didn't show it right here. There it is right there. That's the value comparison. This is the relationship we see at the edge here. As it comes down, does it get a little darker? That's how you study what other artists have done. You study every inch, every inch of the work. As this comes down here, as this comes down towards this area, does it get a little darker? And we'll answer that question by, yes, it does get a little darker as it gets closer in right in here. So now we're getting closer. You see that that, that gradates or blends upward. Now we're getting closer to the, the, what the, what's happening in the real study. As we squint as, at, the, at the woman's hand here, we see that it's the same value. We squint, it's the same value as the book, this area in here. So uh, we, could, we could do that too, but uh, if we want to see how the light is working there, um, it, let's just move on to another value area since that is the same value. So what's happening to cause that dramatic light? Now, if I cover this like this, you see you have just the book there and, and you have the dramatic light, but you don't have the complete picture. If I cover this like that, then you see you, you, you don't have quite the dramatic light, but then when I cover the, uh, cover, or lift my hand from the whole thing, what you see here is you see a dramatic light, but then you see your eye directed to that dramatic light, which is part of the appeal. So what we would do next then is to go to the areas that are leading to the dramatic light. You see what's happening right in here? You say, well, that's her face. And so you might start to make a skin tone for her face. And rather than making a skin tone for her face, let's see what her face is made of. And we look, hold our, hold our test strip right next to her face. Look how very dark that is. That's just a little bit lighter than the dark background that we see there. And so what we can do there is to go to uh, an area, and I'm going to go back into this mixture of black and uh, black and alizarin crimson, and say how much darker, just a value darker maybe, than that, uh, and let's see here, let's get just a little bit of yellow into that, and let's see, let's see, surprising, uh, okay, I need it a little bit, it needs to be just a little bit um, more yellow in it than that, Maybe a little bit lighter, but not much. So what we're doing there is switching our attention. Almost got it. A little bit more of the yellow in there. Uh, so what we're doing there is we're switching our attention from what it is to the value of it. So by adding a little bit more, that's closer. See, now I've got that. Now look how very dark that is. That is the mother's face. How very dark that is against the white. But that's part of what causes the, uh, the dramatic light that Rembrandt made. So I would just make a stroke right here to represent the mother's face. And then, then I would move the, uh, to create the, what, the area of dark around the face. I go back to the darkest dark like this, like we see there. Go back to the darkest dark like that, like that. And then you begin to see the relationship. So if, if, if I continue that, now this is still misleading in here, so to make that more, uh, to make that more true to the actual study, then I will just close this in, close all this in right in here. I'll close it in right here. Close that in with very dark value right here, right here. Just keep closing in. Now watch what happens as I close it in. As I close it in, Now, you see that gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Let's see, we've got a little bit of a gradation there. I'm not trying to create the gradation here. And I want to close in right down here. Close in. Closer to what we're looking at there. Closer to what we're looking at. And if I go back to my, if we, if we go back to that lighter, 
color of white. Right, let me see, right like that. There we go. And all right, so we get, get this lighter value here, like that. And then it gets darker as it comes over here. Now we get the value relationship. Now we see, now you see this is abstracted. And that's the best way to study uh, value or color from another artist is not to try to study the imagery, not to study, try to get it right or looking just right or just like they have, but to try to get the same effect. So now, if I'm looking at this, that's a, that could stand to be a little higher up, but we're seeing the same value relationship. We're seeing the same dramatic light of dark against light and then a darker but lighter value leading our eye into the dark against light. And then as we continue to move across this image, uh, we will see that every darker value that he has in this area leads us from a dark to a little lighter to the lightest light. If you look at dramatic, if you look at Rembrandt's paintings, especially his portraits, but if you look at his paintings, you'll see that that principle used throughout, where that real dramatic light will be sort of located in one area, and then you'll see the values will get gradually darker and then all of a sudden really really dark and then within those darker values real dark values you'll see some a little bit lighter a little bit lighter variations within the very dark values that's a tool he used in, to create that dramatic light and by the way we call that dramatic light chiaroscura if you found this quick tip helpful why not explore our full length instructional videos at dianemize.com we have numerous downloads and DVDs for you to select from. Give it a try. And there's your quick tip.